Hey, good evening, uh, wood butchers. I uh, got a little treat here. We got uh, a little new uh, tea stack edition. Um, I, I saw that I was doing some ordering for some other stuff for the shop, and I noticed they had one of these things on sale. It is, I believe, a DWST17623. Basically, it's it's a um, semi-soft uh, tool case that fits on a tea stack. Um, yeah, DWST17623 uh, is what it says on the bottom. So kind of neat. It has a plastic bottom uh, that is like the bottom of a tea stack. And then somehow the uh, fabric top uh, is now then sewn onto the plastic. I've had other things that uh, where they do this and it often seems to work okay. As long as the stitching holds, it usually does well. Unless this gets cold, I've, I've noticed that these things will crack along the stitching. Um, so one caution, I, I wouldn't take this out in the super cold. It has like a, a plastic side to it. It's pretty firm with the fabric on the outside. So basically it's like a almost a totally plastic uh, container. It's got a, a kind of a neat um, lid to it. Let's have a look here. Um, basically, uh, we're going to raise you up here a little bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, so it has a, a zipper here um, where you can put stuff that you don't want to get uh, dirty or, or that type of thing. Say you're doing a quote or, or that type of idea. Um, on the top here, it has a nice little handle. You have bungee cords, um, if we look right here. Uh, I think this is a brilliant idea. Uh, backpacks have had this type of thing for a long time. Sometimes you just got stuff where you just got to stuff it on there, like a shirt or a sweater or uh, even some tools or other things like that. So kind of neat. Let's get the uh, uh, tag off of it there. It's officially mine now. Can't send it back. I'm not going to send it back. You, you guys know I have a problem with the black and yellow crap. Uh, on the front, we got some little buckles here. Clip on. So again, you can adjust them a little bit uh, as far as, you know, how high they're going to go. You can cinch them down. Um, not a lot of adjustment there. On the sides, we have some, uh, some nice pockets. Uh, again, because of the way it's sewn onto the plastic base, uh, you don't have a lot of um, sort of space at the, at the very bottom there. It, it kind of tapers down. Uh, but it has a kind of a neat, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like a, a slippery sort of waterproof-ish nylon style. On the other side, we have like a little name tag. You can put your you know business cards or whatever in there. Uh, another small pocket for, uh, you know, whatever you want. And then some more pockets on this side. This little guy good for a cell phone or something you, you don't want to lose where you can uh, Velcro it back down. Uh, I tried my cell phone, but yeah, it's videotaping this thing. Um, now on the inside, it does come with a strap, which I like. Uh, I quite often like carrying things with a strap um, rather than just by my hands. Cause sometimes, you know, you got a bunch of things, just throw this over your shoulder. Internally, it has one big divider. Uh, this is uh, with Velcro, and uh, then it can be moved to one of three positions, here, here, here. We have some pockets for like screwdrivers and that type of thing. And then in the bottom, we have like, you know, a solid bottom part to it. Hey, overall, I don't know, I think this thing was 35 or 40 bucks. I'll put the real number here somewhere. Um, and, I, I, you know, it, it's one of those things that I saw it, figured, what the heck. You know, uh, kind of a neat, neat thing. I got a bunch of these types of containers and that type of idea. I think I need to start getting rid of a few. My one of my thoughts with this is to hold transmitters when I'm doing RC stuff, because uh, I thought this would be kind of neat. Uh, I already use a T stack for my batteries, um, so this would integrate with my RC components quite nicely. My uh, transmitters are on the ins are inside the house, and I really don't feel like hauling them out. But uh, you know, that that was one of my thoughts. Is you know, we could put some some batteries in here, uh, other little tools, some wrenches, uh, one transmitter on each side, or you know, I could make up a little foam com container for it. Uh, 
I don't know if you're in Canada, but the new RC thing say you have to have log books for your models and uh, they're treating us effectively like aircraft. So, you know, if you had to, uh, I'm, I have to get my drone pilot license. Uh, I've been flying model aircraft for a long time. Now I got to get a license for it. So again, I could uh, store all that in there and that way when I get audited or the police come along, then I can at least show them I've done all the right stuff. Uh, that's about it for this guy. Oh, gee whiz, the uh, bench is dirty. Now I got it. Oh, it's all dirty. I'm going to have to wash it. Otherwise, hey, uh, it looks like a kind of a cool little unit. Um, I have the, the backpack, which I do like, but it's kind of bulky. This is like a little more uh, compact. Let me just go grab a tea stack and we'll see how it fits up. Alrighty, so here's a tea stack. Uh, this is one of the newer uh, divided ones. It has the bigger components. Uh, these are kind of neat. And inside we have, it has a, a side. Um, oh boy, these are stuck in there good. Uh, basically it's like a little container on the side uh, where you put things in. The older ones had a whole plastic tray in them that each of these would sit in. Now it's just uh, a, a little less um, and they sit in better. It's not as much of a hassle. Uh, so you can use these as um, for anything you want. I like them because they're open on the on the uh, top and, and you can see them. Yeah, that's just basically they're molded for the uh, the trays. Uh, a little flatter bottom too. So okay, let's uh, stop goofing around. Tighten this up. So we take our little tea stack. There we go. So it fits in with the little feet there. Let's get it here. So we're going to try and clip it in. Okay, we got one. Spin it around, make sure it's locked in. Two. Hey, it clips in pretty good. Uh, and now you have a way of using a handle on the top, especially for these type, because the handle's on the side. If you want to keep this flat and level, now you have a way of doing that. Uh, I'm not sure how much weight you'd want to put through this, but it's there, and theoretically, you could use a strap on this to haul a small, light tea stack around. Hey, I hope this helps out. It's kind of a neat little gadget. Um, yeah, I, you know, it fits well. Uh, it, you know, works well. It, it, it attaches to all the other stuff. And again, if you're in the tea stack uh, sort of environment, hey, um, you know, I think it, for dollar for value, uh, I, th I compared to the sustainer stuff or um, some of the Milwaukee stuff. I just like a simple container uh, that can be utilized for multiple different things. Uh, the nice thing is these things clip in and out fairly easy. Um, they're a, just an optimal size for a ton of stuff. And I think this is an optimal size for, uh, you know, a, a number of things as well. Hey, if you like a little bit of this stuff, if you want to see more of this, give me a little bit of a like, a little bit of a subscribe. Otherwise, you know, go out in the shop, organize your stuff, um, enjoy it, make a mess, clean it up, go build something cool, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.